first question I like to ask you is, uh, we want to start off with your name. What is your what is your rap name? Dangerface. All right. So, who's your favorite rapper? It's a toss up. Um, I gotta say I was deeply inspired uh, by Vanilla Ice. Um, mm -hmm. Drake is up there. Mm -hmm. But I think my favorite has to be Kurt Cobain's. Oh, all right. Uh, do you have any weapons on you? Any weapons on me? Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez, but we. Wow. Damn. Oh, oh, a uh, uh, bag beater. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, which rappers do you not like? You mean like personally or music wise? Oh, uh, personally. Shh. Let me go down the list. First of all, I hate that damn two chains. Son stole my style. I got. You see this? You see this? We linked up out here. We linked up out here. I was two chains before two chains. I came out the womb with two of them, boy. How about musically? Everybody. You hate everybody, but especially, you... especially the that damn master poet. First of all, hold on. Let me tell you, camera, right now. If Master Poet want beef, tell him Danger Face after him. But you was inspired by rappers. How you? How's everybody? Why you asking so many questions? I okay. said Master Poet. Okay. You ask him, I answer. Don't nobody want to hear that bullshit he talking. Let him know why I said it. Danger Face. What are you drinking in your cup? We got apple juice, a little bit of Gatorade, cranberry, and Metamucil. Meta what? Metamucil. Meta okay. Uh, so I got prostate cancer. So I got prostate cancer. I got prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. Just in case anybody knows. <laughs> Tell me about your childhood. I grew up uh, in the mean streets of Canada. Mm. Right next door to Drake. You know, we started from the bottom. Started from the bottom, not a whole teeth. Nah, 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 nah. But yeah, me and Drake, we started from the bottom together. We had, uh, we lived at the end of the block. It was a big struggle, because that's where everybody had the in-ground pool. We didn't get to have the in-ground pool. We had the blow-up pool. <laughs> the stick to blow it up. Brush of wind can blow you out that pool, son. And I was, I'm tall. It's only went to my knees. Are you still living in the hood, or? I'll be on a block every now and then. You know, I'm really out there in Bel Air. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll be out there. I mean, I'm, 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 uh, uh, it varies. It varies. It varies. Okay, you know okay, saying? okay. How long you been rapping? Since I was 20 years young. How old are you now? 20 years young. Oh. Kid, uh, tell what music are we able to hear in stores or on that piff or whatever. um check out on that piff you know i got three mixtapes out one called prison ain't for everybody especially not my butthole second mixtape is called 12 o'clock on the dot but we don't stay open 24 hours the third one's actually dropping next week it's called here but you got to type that in and all cap um new mixtapes or anything uh same question you just asked me god no what are we gonna expect what what's the music like, what are we gonna hear? I got a couple tracks on there with um with my boy Dre, cause you know we grew up together in Canada, and you know it it was a struggle getting from the end of the block to the middle of the block. So you know we got a couple tracks on there. We do a starter from the bottom remix. I got a couple tracks, Lil Twist, Lil Chucky. I got Future doing one of my interludes for me where he's uh, he's singing to me and my fiance at our wedding you know it's beautiful a couple joints in there where t-paint doesn't use auto-tune do you have any uh new labels or anything or any uh new artists that you signed um yeah i just, oh, I just got a i just got my funds up took out a loan from wells fargo to start up uh my my whole production company oh uh, yeah we just opened up uh get your d wet records smelly voice uh, DJ Scratch My Ass, Zion on there, peace be to Zion. Baby. Um, we got Lil Kimberly. I know it kind of sounds like Lil Kim, but it's not Lil Kim. She's a mix between Papoose and Nicki Minaj. We didn't say this before. 
Oh, wow. Um, we didn't say this before about you playing basketball, how you was nice, you was better than everybody, but we didn't we didn't know you were rap. We thought you were just a sports person. What you need bars? Damn, I'm not even I, can you freestyle for us right now? I can't even rap. <laughs> Let me see what I got on my head. Alright, check it, yo. Mixtape cereal. Sprinkle a little water. Baseball cat, no football, LA Dodgers. Hold up, I'm in my old zone. Don't let me phone home like ET. I got the bleep bleep on my side. That's the boost. Remember when it first came out? Got the sidekick when it first came out. The LX, I scroll X and listen to dubstep, nigga. No scroll X. That's how I feel about him. Shout out to Master Poet. Oh, you want beef now? Well, I ain't got no zipper on these pants. <laughs> you want the beef now? <laughs> Stop playing, man. I told y'all this is light, man. Shout out to Malik Swenson. You know, we just signed Malik Swenson. I don't know if y'all heard of him. He signed our uh, agency. He, uh, Yeah, DJ Raspy. Yeah, he gonna have a mixtape coming out soon called Why I Swallow Thumbtacks. So uh, that shit gonna be crazy. I'm supposed to be now who the fuck is next up backstabbing ass niggas they just out here for the setup i got cousins who sell dope and another did the math i got many opportunities just chose a different path but the lord ain't put me there he said son no hard feelings let him know that you serious introducing don wills be that nigga everyone won't talk about when your time up but in the meantime they just talking because your time's up study your opposition let them know they got they shine up then surprise these niggas let them know you got your rhymes up i ain't put you here to bullshit Little nigga, get it on. My son died on that very soil that you spitting on.